Hey guys, I have a really quick tip for you today. I'm sure some of you know this already, but if you don't, it'll save you a bunch of time. So today I'm working on a course about creating plants in Blender, and in the middle of recording, I realized that there was a better way to make the ivy that would look a lot better. But I had already rendered out what I wanted the featured image to be, and I used a pretty high sample count, so rendering the whole thing again just to fix the ivy seemed like a waste of time. So instead, I just used the hotkey Shift B to create a border around the ivy from the camera view. So this creates a little border, and if you press F12 to render, it'll render just that area. And if you need to clear this, you can just press Shift B again and drag anywhere outside the camera, or just drag to include the entire thing. So this is really, really helpful because when you render it out, it's going to keep the same position in the image and just make the rest of the image transparent. And so this is really, really helpful because then you can just hop into Photoshop and take that and overlay it right on top. Um, and so you can easily fix mistakes or improve your image without having to re-render the entire thing. So this is mainly a trick for still images, however there is an add-on on the Blender Market called the Animated Render Border, and this makes it work with animations as well. So if you have a problem where maybe you just want the character's eyes to look in a slightly different direction, uh, you don't have to re-render the entire animation, you can just re-render small parts of it at a time and save you quite a bit of render time. So I hope you found that helpful. I can't wait to share the rest of this plants course with you. So be on the lookout for that coming soon on CG Cookie. See you then.